So we all want to beat the living crap out of Krogh. That's no secret, but I'm telling you, it's not a good idea. The guards see you doing it, they'll put you in solitaire. Boys did like being alone. Uh-huh. Well, then you'll just have to go through me, won't you? Hmm? <laughs> oh! <laughs> How miserable to die in the arms of a peasant. Mr. Nipples, I will see you soon in Moo Heaven. Oh. Do something. Sorry. Now you have upset him. Kiki's baby. Uh, see how you like the old ball meets chain. Out of the way! Out of the way! What is the meaning of this? Well, uh, Kiki here was just showing us how to do the Macarena. Everyone! Back to yourselves! Come on! Go! They won't mess with the governor again. Uh, you keep this up, Croak, you're gonna get us both killed, so there's a new plan. We're busting out of here. I cannot, Zack. It is clear to me now. I do not deserve to taste freedom. Not without my striped brothers. Your striped brothers? For years, I sent people to this place without a thought. Only now do I truly realize what it is like to be incarcerated. I cannot leave without Kiki and the others. Not after what I have done to them. Look around, Croak. These guys want you dead. It is not them. It is the system. It turns us into animals. Look at me. I am a beast. Okay, who are you and what have you done with the real governor? Perhaps their age could be assuaged if we offered to take them with us. Say, that's not a bad idea. We could use the extra manpower against those guards. Psst. Say, fellas. Yeah? The Gov and I are busting out of here. What do you say you come on along? Assuming you're willing to make nicey nice. No one's ever escaped from here. What makes you think you can? All right, a quick show of hands. How many of you guys are innocent? Well, that's good. Because I know a certain freedom fighter who didn't know this prison full of innocent people existed. You cannot mean the daring dragoon. You got a better idea, Crokey. I'm all ears. Have your men stationed by Camille's new dressing chamber. If all goes to plan, you should have the forger in your custody by tonight. <laughs> Here he comes. All right, now play along no matter what. You got it? This? God! Some water! So you're Governor Croak, eh? This? You have had this coming for a long time now, pal. Yes? What are you doing? Well, it's gotta look good. What's going on in there? You two! Break it up! How do I look? Good. Now duck. Uh -oh. All right, good job. Now get the rest of the guys and meet me in the yard. Yard? Yeah, you know where you beat up Kiki. Ah, yeah. but how did you get word to the dragoon? Uh, well, let's just say we frequent the same haunts. <laughs> now shake a leg. Monsieur Kiki, I fear the severe squeezing you gave me could not possibly make up for the years you and your friends have spent behind bars. Tell you what, you open the door, and we'll call it even. Uh. <laughs> come on, we gotta hurry. Where's Mr. Jack? We cannot wait. Jailbreak! Sound the alarm! Allow me. 
distraction we needed. Quickly, men. The lung and heart formation. Quick! Oh, that's usually your head. Oh, I can see how you feel about rehabilitation. But then again, I'm a repeat offender. I think I would stay. No, no, up you go. Oh, mon dieu! Go! That's what I call climbing the ladder to success. Eight ball, corner pocket. Hurry up! Come on, Governor. Keep climbing. And you do this for a living? Acting Governor Camille, I come bearing good news. It seems Napoleon's order may be a forgery. That sounds like wonderful news. <laughs> but how can you be so sure? The governor mentioned that the emperor is left-handed if the forger has overlooked this fact. The signature won't be smudged. I'll bring it down at once. <laughs> This way. Well, I hate to split, guys, but I'm running off to join the circus. Well, looks like you guys got your act together. We weren't about to be caught unprepared for escape. But we still couldn't have done it without your friend, the Dragoon. The Dragoon? Oh, well, <laughs> he's no friend of mine. The Dragoon is a friend of all the dispossessed, all the unjustly accused. When a child cries from hunger, the Dragoon's tummy rumbles with rage. When it's cold out, he shivers for his fellow man. Crime has a new enemy, and justice has a new face. Perhaps I have misjudged him. I swear, now I am free, I will publicly pardon him for all his crimes. <laughs> well, can you and your men get off the island all right? The circus, like the Dragoon has many friends, Mr. Jack. Won't be long before the search is on. We gotta go. Nice knowing you, Kiki. Quickly! I will miss those guys. Come on, Croak, we gotta be somewhere ourselves. We're too, Jack, to catch a forger. Get going. <laughs> Good Lord. Come on. Madame Camille, what is the meaning of this? What has happened to my study? <laughs> well, looks like the old ball and chain stuck you in the ball and chain. Hmm. Cherie, you are the forger. How could you do such a thing? You forgot our anniversary. Oh, Kellis, can you ever forgive me? Can you ever forgive me for framing you and... Having you thrown in prison for life? <laughs> so, the governor is innocent, but Monsieur Styles. Must go back to prison. Oh, I don't think so, okay? The governor here would be more than happy to issue full pardons to me and the rest of the prisoners, won't you, governor? My dear, can it be true? Did you really associate with common criminals and agree to their release? Monsieur Stiles, the harshness of the prison affected my better judgment, but you must repay your debt to society. Take him away at once. We oui, governor. Stop right there! Governor, I assume your soldiers will also be taking Camille away. Forging government documents is a federal offense. Ah, uh, perhaps in Mr. Stiles' case we could overlook his indiscretion. <laughs> well, I guess it was too much to expect that Croak would change his spots after a few days in the slammer. 
Recidivism, Jack. Incarceration without rehabilitation helps no one. Yeah, but incarceration without guilt is even worse. Oh, come now, Jack. You're not still angry at me, are you? Well, yeah, I was a little bit at first. And then I realized it was best for the mission, so no hard feelings. <gasps> you know, you never cease to amaze me, Jack. You become a bigger and bigger man every time. I'm very proud of you. Oh, look, your reflection. Yes, what of it? <laughs> You're all wet, Em. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>